Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Yotpedia Education. So today in this interaction, I'm going to discuss with Mr. Narit, who is currently pursuing his master's from IIT Kanpur. Last year, uh, he started his postgraduate journey with Yotpedia Education. So as a student, what was uh, his thought process once the GATE result was out and finally what he ended up getting, right? So this entire journey will be quite informative and I'm sure this will be helpful for the coming student because recently the GATE exam is concluded and very soon student might be looking for the admission opportunity in the different premier institutions. So Nayat, first of all, thanks a lot for sparing a few minutes. It's, thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity. Okay, so to before that. we proceed ahead, so can you just give your brief introduction? When did you completed your bachelor from where? And uh, what was your uh, BTEC stream? And then finally, where you are and what specialization you are pursuing in, please? Yes, sir. I have uh, completed my BTEC in the year 2021. And uh, I have done it in electronics and communication engineering from uh, Techno Main Salt Lake, Kolkata. And uh, okay. currently, I am pursuing MSR in uh, IIT Kanpur in photonic science and engineering. Okay, that's great. So what was your GATE score, if you find it convenient to share? Sir, my GATE score was around 510. In general category or which category? In general category. In general category. So currently, you told me that you are pursuing MS by research in photonic science engineering, right? Yes, sir. So as per my information in IIT Kanpur, there are two categories of the photonic science. One is photonics separately, one is under the electrical department. So you are into which? I am the photonics separately, the separate department for okay. photonics. Okay. So now, uh, before uh, you know, we proceed ahead with the discussion about the experience in IIT Kanpur campus, that is a separate discussion. First, I want to discuss with you when you got this gear score 510 in general category, right? So when you start following the process, was this only the opportunity or you were having some other opportunity also? Sir, um, as far as when I got the GATE score, I was not quite happy actually because due to some <laughs> mistakes, the, yeah. I didn't get as much I expected. But uh, no, this was not the only opportunity I got. I actually got offers from many IITs like IIT Indoor and uh, IIT Kharagpur. I was also okay. selected in IIT Madras and IIC. IIT selected... Madras for what? In photonics only. Oh, for MS, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for MS only. Everything is for MS. And uh, okay. yeah, IIT Indoor, I got an interview opportunity for MS VLSI. And MTech also okay. I got in lasers. I think they have started this year only. Yes, uh, that was a new batch, first batch, right? Yeah, yeah. They, that I got as offered as MTech. And IIT Kharagpur also I got offered MTech in uh, functional material and devices. And in okay. ISC I got opportunity in uh, uh, applied instrumentation and physics. As an IISC, MS, right? Yeah, as an MS research. So, um, okay, yeah, so I also got other IIT also, like IIT Tirupati also, I got MTech M VLSI and okay. uh, IIT Tirupati. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's only I got in other IIT Mandi also and uh, IIT Mandi, I didn't went to IIT Mandi. Mm, yeah, okay. so I think these are almost the almost offers that I got. <clears throat> Okay, so were you satisfied that uh, even having the GATE score of 510, you managed to get these all opportunities? Were you expecting at the time of the GATE result that these all opportunities will come your way? No, no, sir. Not at all. I was not at all expecting. Like, I, I was not at all expecting such offers that I will get. But it was very fortunate uh, that actually what I really major found that particularly last year that IITs went to really low GATE score to... Actually, I have learned that they want to check the research mindset of the people. So that's right, the reason right, they have actually ISC and all have gone to such low get score. So okay, yeah, fine. that's being a plus point. Good, good. And you're from the general category, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm from general okay, now category. Now coming to IIT Kanpur. Uh, so for IIT Kanpur, this MSR course duration is what? Two years or three years? Sir, officially it's two years. Like we are going to be getting funded for two years like the MTEX. Okay. But uh, depends on the thesis and guide also sometimes that this course may extend up to three years. But in generally, it's two years. So for additional one year, you will not be getting any financial assistance, right? No, sir. Actually, uh, additional one year, we are not supposed to get the any financial assistance from the government. But if a professor has a project, then he may provide uh, something from the fund of the project. 
Okay, so what the amount of funding we are getting the same twelve eight hundred or twelve four hundred as the MHRD has decided? As the MHRD has decided, twelve thousand four hundred. Okay, fine. And what about placement narrative? See, currently you are into campus. Uh, I assume that you remember last yeah. year people might be having the same kind of doubt, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what is your take? As now you are into campus, so I, I I'm not asking what is the scenario right now. I'm asking what is the differentiation for the placement of M Tech and MS. Then second thing. What is the differentiation in the placement for the core branches and interdisciplinary branches? Sir, um, the placement for the M Tech and MS are mostly same. Like uh, they don't differentiate between M Tech or MS. It just depends okay. on your your knowledge at the end of the day how much you able to crack it. So there oh. is no such differentiation between M Tech and MS. Yeah, the courses okay. parts are very different, but the in right. terms of placement, uh, it is not at all different. And uh, sorry, sir, what was your second question? Um, my second question was like this: Photonic science is not a core electronics, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a kind yeah. of interdisciplinary, you can say. Yeah. So when it comes to the interdisciplinary and core, like VLSI communication, mm -hmm. and what is the difference? How differentiation and distinction is there from the placement point of view? Yeah, so from the placement point of view, yeah, there is some differentiation. Like obviously, um, the M Tech VLSI and M Tech SPCOM, they do get an upper hand in terms of placement. But uh, okay. it's like it's not that we don't get placed. Actually, it completely okay. depends on the index number of index of the company that how much they are willing to take. Like in IIT okay. Kanpur, that we have a flexible to do anything. Like from any department course, we can. It's completely depend on our own knowledge how much we can acquire in these two years to actually okay. get the placement. It's true that they have a bit of upper hand, but it's not that we we don't have anything. Like we also so are you people are you people are you people eligible to sit for the VLSI company placement? Y yes, yes, we are, we are. Like most of us seniors also got placed also in uh, VLSI company last year also. So there is no such okay. differentiation in terms of departments and all. But it depends on okay. the company at the end of the day that how much he is willing to take, how much vacancies okay. they are coming. It depends on the company. Uh, how many students are there currently in your specialization? In our specialization, there are currently 21 students uh, with uh, 18 okay. are from MTech, uh, two are from MSR, and one is okay. from PhD. So you people have the class, uh, common classroom or some different classroom? No, no, no. We have actually, it depends on the coursework we take. Like in the okay, first the semester. The kind of courses you have taken, kind of yeah, courses yeah. you have taken, right? Yeah, yeah. Like in the first semester, we all have done the same courses. Like it was compulsory for MTech and MS both. So we have the okay. same classroom only. And this year, okay. MS have bit of flexibility in terms of coursework compared to okay. MTech because we have to do more time in research. Okay. So there is so not much Nerit, difference. Uh, can you just differentiate in briefly? Now you know. Now you have got a lot of exposure in the campus, right? Yes. Uh, assume yourself in the situation that then when you were in the 2023, right? So as a beginner, how you will define the difference between MTech and MS in IIT Kanpur specifically? Because so, whenever a student hmm. comes and he wants hmm. to go for admission and he comes to know that there are MS courses, MTech courses, so obviously we know he don't have that much idea, right? He might hmm. be coming with uh, some, uh, you know, studio superficial knowledge taken from the Google and all. So hmm. how you will describe what differentiation you will take now as a, you know, difference between MS and MTech so that he can understand well, okay, this is the actual difference. Sir, mostly, I think the MSR people, they should have a research mindset. Like their objective okay. should be clear that why they are here. Because the problem, research problem that they get compared to NTEC, it is a bit lengthy and it's a bit difficult. They got to I have that research mindset that no, I am going to do here some research. I'm going to do here some good work. But the MTECs, I, I feel they are more like bachelors. Like they have a systematic course design up to first year and then they will do the research work or the uh, thesis work but the ms as they have less coursework so professors and mostly expect them to concentrate on their research work because that is the main right. behind the ms you have to be very focused on the research or the goal like without a proper research mindset it will be difficult compared to uh, mtech because mtech you just have to follow the rigorous like the labs and all what you have done in btech that is a fixed curriculum but the MS do okay. have the flexibility of changes in curriculum. The courses, they have okay. the freedom to do so. But they have to be research mindset because the problem statement, they will get very hard 
compared to very belief very true very true narit now narit uh, i want to ask you last question can you please uh, shift your camera because you're not behind our screen okay as yes, you sir. told me that you got opportunity from iit indore also iit kharagpur also madras also ias yeah. also even tirupati mandi also then what was your thought process why you finally decided to go for uh, you know iit kanpur sir thought process was many thing like uh, iit kanpur i chose firstly it's nearer to west bengal the uh-huh. uh, that it's very convenient for journey and secondly in terms of cost also i think iit kanpur is very good in cost and in food also i think they are very good the iit kanpur and secondly the stream and the professors like i have did a thorough research before joining the professors and all and my research mm-hmm. interest matching so um, So that's the reason basically i choose iit kanpur because uh, in terms of the professors that i want and uh, and mainly in the communication like professors i got in other iits also but the communication factor was the main thing and uh, the coffee is also is very good uh, means it's affordable quite for everyone okay so that's great narit you know in india people don't want to join ms ms is their second option they want to join mtech right so are you mm-hmm. happy with ms Yes, sir. I am happy with MS because actually I want to do. I uh, means I was primarily interested in MS only because I was uh, very much fascinated by quantum computing and all. So I was kind of into MS rather than M Tech. So yeah, I am happy. Like I got opportunity for M Tech also, but I preferred MS because I needed to do the research work. Like I right, can, right, right. yeah. If I join industry, then obviously I have the scope of getting good opportunities for PhD also. If I don't like the corporate. World. so that was my prime major actually uh, main motive to join ms rather than mtech because there is flexibility I, you can plan uh, what was your gate rank actually sir my gate rank was around 800 and what to what gate score you told me 510 right yeah yeah sir actually okay. um, yeah yeah please sir yes sir quite please Yes, sir. Actually, uh, my gate score actually this was from instrumentation. Actually, I admitted to instrumentation gate score. Okay, you admitted to the instrumentation. You have written the both multiple paper, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so as you know, Nadit, it was a quite insightful information. You have given a lot of information for your junior or for your coming peers, right? Okay. So now you know recently gate exam is concluded, right? Very soon the result will be out, and yes, students sir. will be looking for the opportunity for the admission into prestigious courses. And you know when the result is out, there are a lot of students who might be disappointed with their performance, and they are in the dilemma whether to write again exam, whether to proceed with this gate score only. What is your individual piece of advice? Because you have gone through this journey also, right? So you are yes, in the sir. right position. This is your own perspective, and every each one of us have our you know own journey, own experiences. We can also share that with our peers and followers, right? Okay. So what piece of advice you would like to give to those students who are not happy with their performance in the exam, and they assume they will end up getting qualified but very low grade scores? So what is your take on this piece? Sir, firstly, I will uh, like to suggest everyone that. Uh, doesn't matter what you do in test series and all the main day is the main thing how much well you performed in the main day if how much per- well you performed in the test series if it doesn't count on the main day then it's nothing so what i believe that uh, those who are first time attempting gate they can still try for one year drop for a better but if okay. someone is attempting one or two times i won't suggest to go for another time because it's kind of a loophole once you get in you can't get out you have the mindset i can do better 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 So I would always suggest that those who are act- actually given first time drop or still haven't got a good score, I think they must try to at least sit for the counselling and give their best in the interviews and all. Because the interviews also there is very low population, uh, low chances of selecting. Like only two MS are got selected out of thirty people applied for this department. So I would rather suggest that instead of just going through the gate exam, just focus on the knowledge and just believe in yourself and just sit for the counselling sessions and the uh, I think that is my main motive. Rather than stuck in one place, one should try to move ahead and just aim a shot. Probably they will get a good IIT. True, 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 true Narit. So Narit, it was a you know very informative discussion with you since uh, you are proceeding your journey. As of now, you have started this, and there is a long way to go ahead with the coming semesters. So you have done marvelously well while the counseling process, and I'm sure you will do best thing in the coming. 
times okay yes, in your academic pursuit so we wish you your pedi education the very best for the coming time and may you do something really significant and good for your country and your parents right thank you thank you sir thank you sir okay thanks okay. a lot thank you net thanks for thank joining. you